Moments before the game, some final preparations here. Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to our coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Portland Trailblazers going up against the New York Knicks here in New York. With our analysts, Brent Barry and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. So here's Portland's starting group. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Anthony Simons. Then it's Jeremy Grant. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. And it's Sharp in at the small forward position. And for New York, DiVincenzo and Barrett are on the wings. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then it's Julius Randle. And it's Sims in at the five. Nearing the midway point of the season here, Brent. What do you expect to see from this matchup tonight? Well, both of these teams pretty well adjusted by this point. So it will come down tonight to who's going to be better at execution. Here we go. And it'll be the Trailblazers off the tip. Now here's Simons. That's tipped. DiVincenzo with a steal. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, Randall, when he has the ball in his hands, aware that there might be an open teammate. That time he found him. Pass to Simons. Launches it. Randall pulls down the board. And here's Randall. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Here's Brunson. Outside for Randall. Shot clock at six. Outside, DiVincenzo. Tipped away and stolen by Brunson. Randall, the pass to Brunson. To the paint. Randall can't hit. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Now here's Grant. Playing Phoenix, he was nearly unstoppable. And the growth of Jeremy Grant since he came into the league, Grant, it's pretty remarkable. Pretty good for a former second-round pick, an athletic guy that fell under the title of a, a project player, but in Detroit took a larger role on, and I think being able to produce at that level B.A. has given him the confidence to continue to grow in this game. First free throw is good. The last few seasons, the Knicks have had a defensive-minded approach. And that's been the key for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. I mean, they play great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. And so Grant nails them both. Well, the Blazers have boasted some high-powered offenses in recent years. Well, their success is always centered around what they've done on the offensive end, B.A., but now they've lost a little bit of that potency, and they've got to get back to more balance so that they can be competitive on a nightly basis. You don't need size to score in the lane. It's certainly helpful, but you can see Brunson there with that little teardrop. Who's going to stop that? Now here's Simons. An important score for this team, averaging around 25 and a half a game. Grant against Randall. And Grant gets it to go. Well, he's such an athletic forward. Absorbing contact is something that he's learning to do, getting much better at it. Brunson passes to Sims. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And Portland has possession. Outside Brogdon. Here's Simons. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Finding a way through. Contact comes Simons' way, and he just avoids it. Randall outside. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Trailblazers. 
Their last game, a win against the Suns. Looking to carry it into this one. They were allowed to ramp up their offense as the defense they faced was barely present. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. Now here's Brunson. A 29-point game for him in the win against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Also, his ability to push the action and get to the line made a huge difference. You know, Brent, there was a lot of hype when R.J. Barrett came out of college. And I say he's handled the pressure quite well. I mean, are you are you saying this because of where he went to school, Grant? I'm not, I'm not sure. But look, the guy came out of that school and went right to New York City. He's done a great job of just handling himself Shooting two. and whatever surrounds him being part of that New York media. And that one misses. Well, Grant, for R.J. Barrett, he pretty much knew he was going to be an NBA player. Oh, B.A., he sure did. And the number one prospect out of high school in Florida in 2018. Did his one and done in college at Duke and followed it up with the number three overall pick. And he has definitely delivered. And the second free throw is good. Well, looking back, it wasn't too long ago, Grant. The Blazers had an eight-year playoff streak. NBA, that's no easy task. Some great years, but couldn't get over the hump. Now I think it's time to reset and build around their youth. And if you keep working around on offense to find the mismatch, you can find easy points. Pass to Hartenstein. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Grimes. And again, the Knicks missing. And here's Henderson. He'll bring it up for Portland. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. Let's it go from 14. Hartenstein pulls it in. Well, it's a make or miss league. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Here's Grimes. Hardenstein passes to Grimes. That one goes in. Some defenses are designed to yield the mid-range shot. For him, that's a good look. Pass to Kamari. Murray with it. Now Aiden, guarded by Barrett. Aiden, no good. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Now here's Hart. Still no points. Here's Quickly. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And Quickly, not just a score, he's also solid at finding teammates. Eleven seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Henderson for three. That shot, no good. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Knicks up by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play all right guys what's your take on the Knicks so far yeah showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage they controlled the boards in the first well if you get physical out there you can control the glass and that helps you to control the pace of the game the three-point shot changed the game clearly but did you see it becoming the centerpiece of so many teams' offense, Brent? I think it was inevitable in a way, B.A., but the way it got introduced to the league and the way that the seven seconds or less Phoenix Suns adapted to the three-point line and then eventually what the Rockets were doing, it kind of came in like a flood. And each year we're seeing 
more and more guys who you wouldn't think should be shooting threes now capable of not only taking them but making them and so that goes for every position that makes the game very dangerous Randall and Hartenstein together down low Jalen Brunson is out there with Emmanuel quickly and it's Hart in at the three that's the group for New York starting the second and let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie well, DeAndre Ayton has big goals. He said, quote, I want to be the best young two-way player in the league, controlling the game even if I'm not scoring the ball. Being everywhere, creating shots, rolling, blocking shots, just being in the paint, loud, communicating. That's my type of basketball. He's got all the tools, Allie. Thanks for that. Good stuff there. Simon's shot is good. After an okay first quarter of shooting, they've really turned it up offensively. I like where they're headed right now. Brunson against Brogdon. Brunson on the drive. And that one's long. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Brogdon finds Grant. Randall with some nice D. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. You know, one guy who's surprisingly physical at the offensive end, Jalen Brunson. The fundamentals, B.A., around Jalen Brunson's footwork are things that players, young players today, need to study. Incredibly efficient and very dangerous when he gets it going offensively. The Knicks have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Goes up from the top of the key, and the jumper is good. And the Knicks lead by two. Such a key for Julius to continue to stay assertive on the offensive end. And it's Brogdon missing. And so Randall will bring it up for the New York Knicks. At the conclusion of this one, they're off to Brooklyn where they'll face the Nets. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Brogdon, the pass to Walker. And here's Grant, checked by Randall. The Knicks pull it in. Randall's got five rebounds tonight. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. Hart finds Randall. Takes it into the teeth of the D and timeout. converts the layup. And now it's a six-point Nick lead. Now this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Timeout called. Portland. Well, when Josh Hart gets going, his confidence skyrockets, Grant. That seems to be the key for him. Well, his floor game is special regardless. I mean, the rebounding and defense are his bread and butter, B.A. And when he's hitting shots, he becomes the complete package on the wing. Big group substitution here for New York. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Sims. Barrett comes in for Hart. Grimes, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And quickly subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Now here's Murray. No points yet. Looking to end the run. Knocks it loose. Here's Grimes, covered by Theibel. Outside Barrett. On the wing quickly. Over Henderson. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Knicks. 
with their hands resulting in plenty of steals in the early going, keeping the opposition there off balance. I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do, because right now they feel like the faster team. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Henderson. All right, let's take a look at some numbers for Jalen Brunson. The Knicks with the lead. Now quickly. Pass to Grimes. Up top, Randall. Now here's quickly. Wing shot on the way. And Aiden pulls it down. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Here's Kamari. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Talking about the New York Knicks, Brent. A team that wants to be seen as a threat again. Yeah, it feels like the New York Knicks are not going to be satisfied until they're playing in the Eastern Conference Finals or have a chance to win an NBA championship. So these steps are nice, but you're really teasing the New York Knicks fans until you have a chance at a title. And he drops a first. And Grant, this season, the Blazers adding a G League affiliate in North Portland. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the second to last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's a G League counterpart operating under each of the league's teams. And he can't hit the second. When the Knicks are good, Brent, it seems like they have that gritty defense first mentality. Yeah, B.A., 94 and 99, those finals teams were so great defensively for the New York Knicks, kind of taking that in-your-face attitude and bringing it to the court to rough you up. Good recent Knicks teams have had that behind their coaching staff, and it's gotten them back in the right place. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. The Trailblazers making a switch here. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. 12 seconds left to play in the half. Here's Henderson. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's the New York Knicks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. They led by two after the first. They ended the second with a solid nine-point lead. A nice show of force by them. And taking a look at the Knicks, Shaq, what'd you think? They've really established themselves on the glass. Being dominant there has been extra possession. Now we just got to, you know, bring the same energy to the second half. Kenny, let's get your insight on Portland. Hey, Ernie, it's not hard to see why they're down at this point. They're not even shooting 35% from the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they could create better shots, then they have a better chance. 
And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. One of the stories here, Julius Randle. He is getting it done today. <laughs> There's virtually nothing you can do to stop him. I mean, you can't even contain him. He's been that great. Yeah, I don't know if you have enough game plans to slow him down. How do you guard a guy that good? Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Checking out the group for Chauncey Billups to start the second half. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Jeremy Grant. Then there's Anthony Simons. Then it's Shaden Sharp. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard position. Now here's Grant. Lays it up and banks it in. Grant's got six. In the last few years, we've seen a nice leap from Jeremy Grant, including how effective he can be in that spot. Brunson against Brogdon. And that one's good for Brunson. And here's Brogdon. Yet to see a basket. It's rebounded by New York. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. All right, let's get a report from Allie. The Knicks are in the nation's media capital, the coach Tom Thibodeau said. I've never felt pressure. I've been at this a long time. I approach it the same way. I put everything I have into each and every day. I'm willing to live with that result. There's no one, no one who studies this team harder than I do. No, he has made the difference for sure. Thanks, Allie. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Pass to DiVincenzo. Fires top of the key. It doesn't go for him. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for the Trailblazers. It's a 13-point game. And one guy who's instant offense when he's hot, Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, he can get it going offensively. There are nights where it takes a bit for that to happen because he's an opportunistic scorer. But he's got size out of the backcourt. He's a good athlete, a good shooter, and an even better defender. Used the pick and roll, and then Brunson's court sense allows him to make that play. Timeout called. Portland. Grant, there is some magic here in New York. One of the best home court advantages in the NBA. Well, B.A., you have to think about the history of this building. It's incredible. I mean, when the Knicks are playing even remotely well, this place is rocking. the Knicks making a change here. Hart's checked in. And taking a quick look across the league, here are the most accurate free throw shooters. Third is Anthony Simon. He's not a guy you want to foul. He's so calm at the line. Sinks his free throws with ease. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Brogdon, the pass to Sharp. Please, please. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Sharp has no off switch. He's consistent at attacking defenses and drawing whistles. Take 
break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And coming into summer league, Sharp was kind of a mystery man. So it's great to see him play at a high level and get a real sense for his talents. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Henderson's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Sharp still trying to find some comfort and familiarity at the free throw line. Sometimes it takes some young guys longer. Here's Brunson. Oh, look at Jalen Brunson. Don't let that size fool you. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Henderson, the pass to Graham. Back to Henderson. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hardenstein's got his fifth rebound in this one. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Outside Hart. Let's it go from deep. And the three-pointer goes. And the Knicks lead by 16. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Simons outside. Henderson against Brunson. Henderson, the pass to Simons. From the arc. Portland again missing. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Here's Brunson. Sharp grabs the miss. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Now here's Aiden. Two points. That one goes. Aiden's got his first points of the game. Oh, and that's a nice find by one of the youngest players in the league. Sharp with tremendous upside to his game. Outside Hart. Pass to Hartenstein. Quickly from outside. Portland grabs the miss. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Count that one. Simon's got four points now in the quarter. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Here's Grimes. Sure, from three-point range. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Simon's outside. There's the triple. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hardenstein's got six rebounds now in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Left side, Brunson. The shot won't fall. And so it's New York. Up 15 points as this quarter concludes. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. We'll be back in a moment. And we take a listen in now to Tom Thibodeau on a recent huddle. Right back, man. Let's go score, stop, score here. Everyone talk defensively. Get stops and then let's go. Let's go. Make the game easy for each other. Make plays. Get your space. And defense is so important to Coach Thibodeau. Yeah, he wants his team to get stops and leak out fast. That's just fundamental basketball. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Quickly in Barrett, the guards. Josh Hart is out there with Julius Randle. And it's Sims in at the center position, locking down the middle. That's the five for New York right now. They're eating up there just to drop it in and take some of that rim with them. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. And he lobs it up. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. 
And it's Brogdon with the ball for the Portland Trailblazers. Down by 15. Pass to Graham. Right side, Brogdon. And here's Grant. Six on the shot clock. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, picking all the low-hanging fruit, defenses these days want to concede the mid-range. And they're happy to take it. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Nick's shooting is around 55% so far. Quickly against Brogdon for three. Randall rebounded by Kamari. The Trailblazers shooting about 41%. Outside Brogdon. DiVincenzo against Aiden. Good on the bucket. Aiden's got four points in the quarter. Well, again, with that kind of size, DeAndre Aiden is going to draw some fouls and does not shy away from contact. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. The players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, B.A., that's why they call it a partnership. You talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. Two, two. And he makes a first. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league wanting to prove that he belongs, he's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. Both free throws good from DiVincenzo. For Portland, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Brogdon, the pass to Graham. Back to Brogdon. Brogdon with a strong finish. Their offense sort of clawing back to respectability. Let's see if they can keep building on this. Pass to Sims. Stolen by Aiton. Brogdon feeling it out a bit. Oh, Brogdon inside. What a finish. Well, there's some good length for Brogdon, and that helped him maybe get over the top and make that contested shot. Randall inside, working on Grant. Randall can't hit. Portland trailing here. Pass to Kamari. Now Grant. Outside Brogdon. Aiton. And by maximizing their potential on every scoring opportunity, they've somehow, some way, made this a thrilling finale. The offensive rebound. The Trailblazers have gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. Here's Mays. To the inside. And Aiden gets it to go. Timeout, timeout. Now just a four-point New York lead. How about a pivotal hoop from DeAndre Aiden? New York calls timeout. They lead by four. 152 left in the fourth quarter.
And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brunson. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for New York. Sharp, he's checked in for Portland. Simons comes in for Mays. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. Coach had a direct message for the team saying, no matter the lead, no NBA game is ever over. Do not let your guard down. We'll see if they hold on. Okay, thanks, Alex. Wow, Jeremy Grant, the evolution will be televised. Phenomenal at staying cool and collected in that big moment. Brunson surveys. Shoots over Grant. And again, the Knicks missing. Because of his quick reactions, he was able to stay with the opponent and contest the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. And Simon's saying, bring it on. I got this and more. Brunson with it. To win the cold spell. Count it! <laughs> now that's one to remember. What an impact on the game. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Time out, time out. And the Trailblazers call time here. They're behind by two. 51 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside. Oh, bangs home the three. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Outside Brunson. The three, Randall. Portland grabs the miss. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Randall with a steal. Out to the wing. Sims, the pass to Brunson. Count it! Time out, time out. And Brunson's got the mindset to deliver. Timeout called. Portland. They're behind by one. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what do you think? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments.
Simons against Steven Chenzo. Now here's Simons. And so the big win by New York in a tight game. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.